In this video, I'll show you how to use ActiveCampaign double opt-in with forms to get higher quality leads and stay compliant with your country's rules. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's check it out. Okay, so first, when we're setting up double opt-in in ActiveCampaign, we'll be using two main tools. The first, of course, is ActiveCampaign. Then the other tool is a third-party software that we like to use to create opt-in forms and then integrate that with ActiveCampaign forms to set up the double opt-in, uh, and that is ConvertBox. So first, what is double opt-in in case you're not familiar with it? Um, double opt-in is when someone, a lead, uh, someone in your audience, they opt into a form. It might look like this, for example. So if I click this here, form pops up, I can give my first name and my email, I'll accept the terms and conditions, but then an email is going to be sent to me into my inbox, I'll go into it and I have to click that link to officially get added to a list, confirm that I want to receive email communication from this company or from this person, uh, and that is the double opt-in. There's the first opt-in step here on this form, and then the second opt-in is inside the email confirming you want to receive emails from this business. Now, why would we do this? Why would we have the double opt-in? It sounds like adding in friction. So that is typically one of the first cons that people mention. It's added friction. That means fewer leads will sign up for uh, my list. It's more work to set up. But once you hear about the, the pros, I think you're going to understand why we tend to set it up uh, for our business and why we recommend our customers set it up as well. Now, first of all, it's going to allow you to collect better quality leads. If someone has to opt in twice and confirm that they want to hear from you. These are people that are really looking to get content from you, to engage with you, and that's going to lead to higher engagement and higher conversions. You're going to have a higher quality of subscriber on your list, and ultimately business is just relationships between people, right? So you're going to be able to build better relationships with your audience if they're actually saying, yes, I do want to receive email from this person. I'm interested in what they have to say and, and what they have to share with me. So. The second biggest point is that it's legally required in some countries. Okay, you may be uh, operating out of Germany, Austria, Switzerland. It's all legally required to have double opt-in. And it's also very important for GDPR. It can help you basically prove that someone has explicitly opted in, explicitly given consent to receive email communication from you. So it's good for both of those points. And then the third point is, as I mentioned, higher engagement and conversions. You're going to be able to engage with people on your list that actually want to hear from you and want to receive your emails. They're more likely to open them, reply to them, engage with what you have to share, uh, and this is ultimately going to lead to more conversions. So that's another key piece there. Instead of filling up your list with bots, we have a video here on how to set up forms and also another video here on how to remove the double opt-in, but it, it comes with a warning, so you can check that one out as well. Now, how do we set up double opt-in in Active Campaign? We've broken this down into four main steps. You've got the form setup, you've got the double opt-in completion, then the person is subscribed and tagged, and then there's going to be an automated email that gets sent out to them. So let's start with the form. Inside Active Campaign in the left-hand column here, you can go to Site, you'll click Forms, and if you're brand new to this, you may not have any forms set up, but if you're not and you've already created some, you'll find them here. You can also create a new form up here in the top right. So I'm actually going to use one that we have set up for our partners, so you can see this as an example. You'll see we title it the same here. We title the form, which you can adjust over here in the header. We've got first name and we've got email. This one doesn't look great. So we actually set this up inside ConvertBox. I'll show you that in a minute, but we still have to build out the settings because we're going to integrate ConvertBox with ActiveCampaign and with the form. And plus you could use this uh, if you wanted to, you can style it a bit over here in the right, change the layout the background, the colors, the font, etc. You can turn off AC branding. The default is that this will be on. You can click that and turn it off and you can adjust the form with any custom CSS here. You can check out this video for more on creating a form. Now, the important part for the double opt-in is in options. You can see here under form actions, we want to make sure that we subscribe the contact to a list. And it should be your main list. Now we teach our customers to only use one main list, all segmentation by tags. This video here will share more about that. But if you have multiple lists, choose the one that is your main list. And then if you see here, we're adding a tag that lets us know what this person is signing up for. 
Okay, this helps us segment if they're opting in for a different lead magnet. In this case, they're opting in to become one of our partners. So we're gonna tag and say that they are a wild mail partner. They've opted in for this here. And this will all get added when they complete the double opt-in. So if I hit the gear next to the main list settings, we've got opt-in confirmation turned on. If I turn this off, we will not have double opt-in for this form. We want it on. And then you'll see here the opt-in email. You will want to customize this because the original email isn't the best looking. So if I go into edit, now this editor on the back end may look a bit different for you. Active Campaign's going through some updates on their email editor, but basically what we've got here is a simple message to get them to click and verify that they're human. And that completes the double opt-in. One important thing to note here, if I check out this link, you're going to see this tag here, the confirm link. This is created by default by Active Campaign, and it lets them know that the contact has completed the double opt-in. And the URL itself, where this person is going to end up, is set back in the settings. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so we're back in the edit form action. There's something very important to note. You have two actions, okay? You have the on submit actions, and you have the form action. Now the on submit action, this URL here, this is going to be sent to anyone who does not already have an active status for your list. To get the active status, they have to have already completed the double opt-in. So a lead can come into your list, but they'll have a status of unconfirmed until they've completed the double opt-in. So anyone that has that status, they do not have an active status, they will be sent to this URL here. Okay, and then you have a second action, which is the form action. That's located at the gear here. And you can see here confirmation action. This takes place when someone clicks the link in that email, completes the double opt-in. And it also is where a lead gets sent if they've opted into another form and they already have an active status on that list. So let's say I've opted in uh, with a double opt-in for another form in the past. Now I'm opting into this form to become a partner. I'm going to get automatically redirected to this link here for the confirmation action because I've already completed the double opt-in. I don't need to receive that email and opt in again with the double opt-in. All right, if you have any questions about how that works, let me know in the comments below. Now, the last thing I wanted to share with you very quickly is the third-party tool that we like to use to create our opt-in forms. It's called ConvertBox. And I just wanted to show you because you still wanna set up all of the double opt-in settings that we just set up in Active Campaign Forms and then integrate it with a form here in ConvertBox. So here is our form for the partners. And if I go here and go into form settings, for integrations, you can see we're adding them to the Wildmail partner registration form that we just created in Active Campaign. And then that form in Active Campaign is going to handle the double opt-in procedure. So you can still use third-party tools easily to build different forms if you want to change and customize how they look. We also like to use ConvertBox because it allows us to ask questions up front. I can show you this example quickly. So you can see here, we're collecting information to segment and then personalize our communication with contacts who opt in. Again, remember double opt-in is going to give you higher quality leads, leads that are more engaged, more interested in what you have to share. And to continue building that relationship, you can use a tool like this to collect information from them, ask them questions about their specific goals and pain points, and then finally collect their first name, last name, and make sure that they complete the double opt-in. So this tool is called ConvertBox. I'll have a link below in the description and we have another video on how to set up the integration and how to build this out in ConvertBox if you're interested. Now I mentioned earlier, I'd explain more about WildMail. And at WildMail, we are one of the top resellers of Active Campaign in the world. And at its core, WildMail is just Active Campaign. So nothing changes with your pricing, your API integrations, your email sequences, your campaigns, your login, your password, it all stays the same because it is Active Campaign at its core. We inherit your next billing cycle, so you don't get charged anything additional by us, but your next billing cycle will be through us, and then that allows us to stack additional benefits for free on top, especially for Europe-based businesses. So first, we've got premium localized support. We are based in Europe, and we're leveraging years of experience as an Active Campaign agency in the past to help you get the most out of this tool today. You'll get custom onboarding with our support team, plus anyone on a plus plan or above will get a package of free consulting calls with us. If you're already working with a third-party agency or in-house, no worries, we'll do it with them. Now, we also have a library of free training you can use. And finally, we have Wild Metrics. Wild Metrics is our no-code API-based tracking app for the customer journey in ActiveCampaign. This allows you to track revenue by tags, 
revenue by automation, revenue by email campaigns. You can build out beautiful dashboards to make sense of the data and then optimize your campaigns to hit your next revenue goal. And you'll get a free account for that as well. So if you've never used Active Campaign before or Wild Mail, you'll see a link below for a 14 day free trial through us. If you are using Active Campaign, no worries. You can move. There's no migration process. It's just moving the billing to us. It's a five to 10 minute process, super fast, and we can help you with that process. There's another link for moving your account below to get those additional benefits for free. And if you have any questions at all about wild mail, just drop them below in the comments or shoot us an email. and We'd be happy to answer those for you. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe for more active campaign tutorials and hit the like button so we can reach more people just like you with this content. That's it from me. I'll see you next tutorial. Cheers. <laughs>